The Power of the Paperwork, Private v. Public Ownership, March 20, 2019 by Anna Von Reitz. Do you own your own name? If not, it's high time that you did. Once you own it, you get to define it and move it wherever you wish it to be. So first you claim it, then you domicile it, then you dispose of it as you will. It's yours and the facts on the face of every birth certificate fully admit it. The basic paperwork we use reclaims your trade name and permanently domiciles it on the land and soil of your birth state. It can no longer be mistaken for an unidentified foreign situs trust. The basic paperwork also establishes your possession and control over all the derivatives, variations, permutations, orderings, styles, of similar assumed names, names connected to you, and permanently domiciles them on the land and soil of your birth state, too. The straw man can no longer be presumed to be a public trust or public transmitting utility residing in Puerto Rico. It is established and given notice in the public record that the straw man is an American state asset. As a result, it comes under new law and is a new lawfully owned entity. This is a process similar to reflagging a ship. This then also affects all contracts on which the name appears, including driver licenses, mortgages, loans, and certificates. To force recognition of this change in status may require you to take your paperwork and BC and witness testimonies to the district attorney and properly inform him, but the facts and authority remain on your side. You present the BC and the two witness testimonies to the district attorney. These are private documents, so only his office needs to see them. This establishes the fact that you read the certificated owner, operator of the vessels. Then you provide certified copies of your recorded deed of reconveyance, etc. You look the DA in the eye and you say, I am not presenting this certificate for any purpose of identification. I know that you are operating under the 1934 Amendment to the Trading with the Enemy Act and that you cannot talk about it thanks to 18 U.S.C. 472, but I can talk about it to you. I act only in the capacity of a lawful person and lawful owner of American state vessels that are permanently domiciled on the land and soil of blank, your birth state, Ohio, Texas, California, etc. I wish to apply my exemption and also wish for the exoneration of my pre-paid vessels and the elimination of this court contract, that is, if a court case and charges are being misaddressed to you. Then smile, leave a card with your contact information, and leave it all in the lap of the DA, who is supposed to be protecting you from racketeering. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more Anna Von Wright's article videos.